Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the racing that's going to be taking place out at Turfentain. We've been in hot, hot form lately, so please Lord, let the form continue. I'm going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain and he's going to be tipping an eight race program. So I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his analysis. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. No matter where in the world you guys are, and a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Before we get into these selections for Saturday the 5th of August at Turfentain, we've had a great run um, last time out. We tipped the best bet and the value bet. Both came home. So I hope you guys jumped onto that. I know we got jackpot one and we picked up a couple thousand there. The bets in Ireland are doing really, really well. Last night, three bets, three winners. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I hope you guys are getting involved. Um, don't forget, guys, subscribe to Hollywood Bets, get your 25 rand voucher, and let's see if we can win some money and all go on holiday. As I said, racing comes to us on Saturday, the 5th of August. We at Turfentain, we're on the standside track, eight races carded, and the first event is due off at 12.25. Guys, when we go through, I've given two value bets. Um, I think one is round about seven to one. The other one is round about five to two. So please bear that in mind. There are some short price favourites, and as you guys know, I will never give you a five to ten shot as a best bet. You guys can choose that yourself. So that's why I don't have a best bet, but I've got two value bets. But again, when we go through, you will see there are some very short priced horses, and I think that they should take a power of beating. So race one, this is off at twelve twenty-five. Made them plate over a thousand meters, and in this event, I really think that horse three chocolate bomb is going to take a power of beating Gavlerina for the Van Furen yard. And this son of Lancaster bomber um, is drawn on the right hand side of the track. And I really think that whoever beats this one will win the race. And for me, a banker in the bipod for second, I've thrown in horse number one. This is Darling Act. Bella Mazziani for the Clarsen Yard. I think we can take swingers and exactors with the one. Um, I think that we will go very close to catching that. For third, I've gone for the seven. And, <coughs> excuse me, that is the Gotcha Buzz. Again, taking swingers, throw this one in. And for fourth, we've gone for the eight. First time, I love grass. Also from the Van Furen Yard. And um, have a look-see and see if there's any betting for that, but I do like the breeding on this one, but I really think that whoever beats three will win the race, currently around about five to ten, and for me a banker in the buy pot. We move on to the second race on the card. This is the first egg of our place accumulator. This is due off at 12.55, and maiden plate over 1,800 meters. And again, in this event here, horse number five, Fushimi Inari Gavalerina again, this time for the pedigree yard. Nice second last time out. I think this is also top of the boards. Um, smaller punters, you can banker this in all the bets. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to look just to um, throw something in, just in case, you know. When we want something to pay big, we've got to hope that the favourites run off the board. So yes, I think the five is the right one, but I'm throwing three, Lady Dynamo, Marco van Rensburg for the Yonker Yard, two decent efforts uh, under the hands of Marco, <coughs> I think this one will jump, will set the pace, with the course running very, very quick, I think this can give a good account of itself as well, for third we've gone for horse number seven, Velo, JP van der Merve for the De Kock Yard, again, they've pulled blinkers off this one, and I certainly think this one could run into the back end of trifectas and quartets. And for fourth, I have gone for horse number one, Man's Night, Dennis Suarez for the Matched Yard. This has had uh, 12 chances, uh, even though the form, the two seconds on the trot, has had many, many chances to win. I certainly cannot rely on this one. So we've gone five, three, seven, and one. Smaller punches, if you want to take a chance, and bank of the five, we get the third, the three, and the five, and hope like hell we either double up, or even better, if the five can run off and the three arrives for us, make the exotics pay. 
Third race on the card, this is due off at 13.30, maiden plate for the girls over 1,000 metres. First egg of the uh, pick six, we go through here, there's nothing that really stands out. Um, I've gone through the breeding of the first timers and I'm going to select horse 11, What's a Lucy, um, as my first selection. I know it is a first timer, Caden Brewer gets the ride here for the Huda Larkis yard. Um, really like the breeding of this from Drakenstein Stud, and that would be my narrow first selection. You don't have to be too good to win this one. For second, I have thrown in horse number 10, and this is Chase Mazan for Cornet Spiss. Nice improvement last time out, finishing third behind Damo Star. Um, I think is drawn on the right side of the track, and again, can certainly be there when the whips are cracking. For third, we've gone for horse number four, and this is uh, Sivaloshi uh, for the Sunday and Tolly for the Matchet Yard. Um, fair effort last time out, very, very speedy sort under the hands of Richard Faree. And I do think that coming back to the Transvaal, I certainly think that this one again can be there and there about. Not taking a chance here, putting three horses in the bipod, three horses in the PA. Um, but for, as I said, first selection is the 11. You don't have to be too good to win this one. In this event, my fourth selection would be horse number five, Whitehills Musigeni for the Magna Yard. So race uh, 3, 11, 10, 4, and 5. Fourth race on the card, you're off at 14.05, mid rated 96 handicap over 1600 meters. This is the first leg of our jackpot one. And again, I really think that horse number two, Atticus Finch, Gavlerina for the uh, Alec Laird yard. Won really, really well last time out. I think Gavin is a stronger rider than Calvin. Um, ran on very, very powerfully. And around about 5 to 2, I think, is great value. And this is our first value bet of the day. The horse number 2, Atticus Finch. What I have done, though, I'm not going to bank of this. I'm throwing in horse number 10, Bloomington. That's Antma Gutlow for Fabian Habib as my second selection. Um, was staying on last night is three kilos better off than our first selection. And again, I think under the hands of Ant, and he's riding really, really well, can certainly um, make this field pick up its feet. For third, we've gone for horse number five. This is Global Impact and a Swaz for the Matchet Yard. Decent effort last night, finishing fourth behind Sherry of them. Uh, I think this will jump. I think it will be up there. I see they fit to the tongue tie with this one. Um, up in class, down in weight, again, certainly um, can fill in one of the minor spots. For fourth, we've gone for the ultra-consistent number one star, uh, stratosphere. Craig Zaki jumps aboard this one for the Tony Peter Yard. Um, you know, we go and look at this. Gavin must certainly know which is the better one. If you're worried uh, to take a punt on the nose, wait and see which one the money comes for. But as I say, we have gone 2, 10, 5, and 1 in this event. We'll move on to the fifth race on the card. Fifth race, due off at 14.40, merit rated 81 handicap for the girls over 1,800 meters. And again, guys, this looks like an absolute sitter. Horse number one, quasi lady. Sander Sebo gets you right for the lead yard. Sander will be claiming his two and a half, which really, really, I know this one's going for four and a trot. Um, but, wow, I really battle to find something that's going to match Quasi's uh, lady is a banker in all my bets. If one is afraid to take a banker here, maybe throw in horse number seven, uh, Queen Bomi for the Sunday and Tolly for the match at yard. Nasty drawn a two carrying only 52 on his back, um, and again, could be there uh, good enough for one of the minor spots. For third, we've thrown in horse number three, Lachere and Magutla for St. John Gray, drawn eight out of nine, is a small field, um, did have excuses last time out, look for a better effort from this one. I know it is coming back from a rest, um, but and well, maybe good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. 
And for fourth, we have thrown in horse number five, three strands. Chase Mojan for Cornet Spiss. Nicely drawn at one. Um, last time out, five and a half lengths to Ivy League. We thought Ivy League was a good thing. Is third run after rest. Look for some improvement from uh, three strands. But as I say, I do think the one Quasi Lady will be very, very hard to uh, beat. Cannot tip that as a best bet due to the fact it's around about five or six to ten. We we'll move on to race six. And this is Joff at 1515, quarter past three, pinnacle stakes over a thousand meters. And we find the second of my value bets here. This will be horse number two, roll with the punches. Dennis Suarez gets the ride or he retains the ride or for, 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 for the Magna Yard. Um, we go look last time out, finished fourth, three lengths behind Danilo De, uh, Danilo Delevich. De I know that Mercanta did beat it last time out, but I really think that the, or reverting back to a thousand meters, I think this roll with the punches, I think it will jump, this will go, and I think under the strong urgings of Dennis, I think the thousand meters shoot this one down to the ground and run about six, seven to one. I think this is a great each way value and is my narrow first selection. For second, I have gone for the obvious. This is horse number one, uh, Mercanto, Diego de Gavea for the pedigree yard. And again, this has to be there when the whips are cracking. However, I do think the thousand meters on a fast track may, may just catch this one out. For third, we've thrown in horse number eight. Captain's hindsight, Muzieni gets it right for Tony Peter, carrying only 52 on his back. Um, we go and we look, this has had two runs for the yard for two wins. Again, this one will be sitting right up there and should be there and thereabouts. For fourth, we have gone for horse number five. The outer consistent Sheldon, Gavlerina for the Van Furen yard, carrying 56 on her back. I'm putting a line through the last effort, and that was in a grade two. Third one after rest, Gavin gets the ride back, and I really think, again, this one good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So we go through race six. We have gone two, one, eight, and five, and I really think that horse two is nice each way value. Seventh race on the card. I think the very, very open event, Joff at 1550, a mid rate of 87 handicap again for the girls. And I really think one must put in as many as the budget would allow. My narrow first selection here is horse number six, Iron Sky, Diego de Gavea for the pedigree yard, nicely drawn at nine. Um, form was there for all of us to see, really, really running um, well. Um, Diego knows this one like the back of his hand. And I think that this is the one that can surprise in this uh, race and must go into all exotics. For second, we've gone for horse number nine, Nas Raffia, Axel Collins, Ant Magutla getting the ride here for Tony Peter, Nasi drawn at 11. Um, did have excuses last time out, casting a shoe. And I think that under the hands of Ant, he's not going up to Joburg to look at the weather. I think, again, at the big odds, throw this one in trifectas, quartets, swingers. Um, should this one arrive, I certainly think that you'll get a nice return on your investment. For third, we've gone for one. This is Black Egret, Ray Dennison for the Binder Yard. Ray rode this one two runs back, and he won really, really well. So had a lot of pace on that occasion. I think it'll be similar tactics. Negative, yeah, maybe the weight, 61 and a half, but I think that this one um, can be good enough to run into back end of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for three, Munchkin, Caden Brewer for Lucky Hudalakis. Um, again, ultra consistent sort, this one, and I do think that the 1100, I would have preferred it over a touch further, um, but... Larger perms in a tough race must throw this one in. I do think it's a tough race, as I said, putting as many as the budget would allow. We move on to the lucky last on Saturday. This is race eight, Geoff at 16.25, May rate is 72, two handicap, again over 1160 meters. And we go through here, and I really think that horse five, Tuscan, Tuscan Gold, will take a power of beating. 
stable jock Craig Zaki gets a ride here for Tony Peter, coming back from a short rest. We do know that Tony gets them um, right, and I do think that whoever beat Tussin Gold will win the race. I'm banking this one in my place accumulator, and I'm debating whether to bank this in the pick six. Must be included. For second, we've gone for two fully loaded, Gavlerina for the Habib Yard. Again, um, the form is there for all of us to see. Has run some fair races, but I don't think it's up to the standard of horse five. For third, gone for four after hours, and Magulla for St. John Gray. Um, has been a little bit off in the last two runs. Um, back in the tough vectors and quartets. For fourth, we've gone for C, written in stone, Nathan Kling for Brett Weber. <coughs> Excuse me again. Last effort wasn't great. Um, back in of tough vectors and quartets. Smaller punters, banker five and everything. If you want, if you're a little bit scared, you want to back it up, maybe back the five up with the two. But I do think five is a decent bet. So, guys, please, please, please look for jockey changes, look for scratchings. There are some very, very short priced favorites. If for some reason they get scratched, please, guys. You need to add a couple in there. Um, I do fancy the value bet, uh, the value bet on the card. Um, look at the betting on the first timer in the third race, that is horse number 11. If there's betting support for that, don't be scared to throw this one in. Guys, take it easy, look after yourself, and back to you in the studio. Thanks for that input, the postman. I see you've tipped an eight race program, your bar pot, your PA, your jackpot one and your jackpot two. And I see you've got two value bets there. Roll with the punches and Atticus Finch. Um, some nice value there for the punters. So please, Lord, let them arrive. Guys, if you've been following us in Ireland, we've been tipping some nice um, um, winners in Ireland and also in the UK. Um, but Ireland has been the best so far. So all in all, enjoy, have fun, break a leg, and cheers for now.